Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Now, in today's video, I am going to be doing a reading for our beautiful collective here on YouTube. If you would like to tune your energy into our collective here so that I can channel more specifically for you and your situation, be sure to like this video and also double check that you are subscribed because by liking and subscribing, this does allow me to pick up on your energy more easily. Now, with that being said, do keep in mind that I do channel many different people, situations, and connections throughout these reading videos, so be sure to only take the messages that resonate with you personally. Now, one car just flew out while I was shuffling, so this is blossoming abundance in the reverse position. And very often, for some reason, I heard the name Joanna or a name with the letters J O A or N in the first or last name initials. Now, again, those are very specific messages whenever I channel letters, names, etc., meant for certain individuals. So only take what is connecting with you. But the message coming through from this card is a lot of fear or anxiety in connection with a love situation. And the message I was hearing as I started this reading is two people scared of losing each other. So for whoever this is for, I am picking up and I'm getting chills all over just beginning to channel into your energy with this person because this is a very powerful, powerful love connection. However, at this time, I'm sensing that both people here are afraid of losing the other for some reason, but neither of them realizes that the other shares that same fear, if that makes sense. So I feel a masculine and a feminine energy both present in this connection. And I'm hearing your spirit guide say, you are both equally afraid of losing the other but again, neither of you are realizing this. So of course, the masculine and feminine labels are just that. They are labels to describe energy and not necessarily tied to a particular gender. But I want to first channel into the masculine here. Why is the masculine scared of losing the feminine? And a card came out here. Financial constraints in the reversed position. So this could indicate a masculine who doesn't feel very confident or settled with his work, his career, his finances, or his life purpose. And from his perspective, I see him looking at the feminine here as with the sun card upright as his kind of new beginning. But I keep hearing ideal, ideal new beginning, ideal person, because something about her feels out of his reach. I wanted to say out of his league, so he might in his head feel like when he gets too much in his head that you, Divine Feminine, are somehow out of his league. With Journey in the reverse position, I get that this masculine feels and I'm hearing the name Timothy for some reason, this masculine feels a very strong sense of home with you in your presence. However, with hostilities upright, there is some internal conflict taking place here. Conflict that could be happening because this is sitting on the third eye, our connection with our intuition, our spirituality. It could be that this masculine is caught up in difficult life situations or love situations for some of you at this time that are difficult for him to see through or to work through mentally. He feels, I'm hearing, somewhat stuck in a rut. He might be feeling a bit low energy lately. For some reason, I'm hearing the letters A, S, and H here. 
yeah this masculine is feeling really hopeless really defeated with victory reversed and what i'm getting is i saw the image of a phoenix and just like a phoenix dies and then rises again from the ashes i'm getting that what's actually happening here is your meeting with this masculine has triggered some kind of spiritual experience within him for many, this could literally be a form of spiritual awakening, but in its early phases, and because it's still in the early phases, this masculine is feeling many aspects of himself and his life falling apart in a sense. I keep hearing ego death. And so he's waking up to the realization that he's very unhappy with certain circumstances or people, relationships, things in his life but feeling a sense of internal conflict about how to move forward with these things. The one thing this masculine knows for sure is that you, Divine Feminine, are his ideal new beginning, that you are with the Goddess of the Moon upright. I just hear like he has his eyes firmly set on you re regardless of what is manifesting itself here in the physical and he is healing with healer of the ages upright i heard ralph or raphael this could be related to the angel raphael for some of you with appreciation upright i feel this masculine has so much deep love and appreciation for you divine feminine but again there's this feeling of disconnect at times because he perceives you either consciously or unconsciously as being further along than himself when it comes to life purpose when it comes to spirituality now take this as it connects. I'm getting that if you are a feminine listening, hearing that this masculine is feeling this way may actually surprise you a bit because he might present himself as being a lot more confident than he actually is. Or even I'm hearing in some cases, this masculine may try to play hard to get at times or try to kind of pull back his energy from you. But the truth is, his eyes are firmly set on you. And the reason is because he's felt this change within himself since meeting you. I feel that there has been a change since you first met or connected with this masculine. I feel that in the beginning, he may have felt as though I'm hearing that something about you physically really struck him your beauty something about you i'm hearing your radiance it's like you radiated this really powerful beautiful energy but from his limited human perspective he may have thought that this was just you being very attractive and he may have not realized that there was actually this energetic exchange happening between the two of you this absolutely could be a twin flame connection for some of you just because of the very intense energy exchange i am picking up between you and this person and i'm getting that although he may have showed an interest in you right away this masculine may have mistakenly kind of thought in the back of his mind that maybe he would be able to let you go later on or forget about you because I'm sensing this masculine may have done this in the past with other feminines. He may have dated and then and then let people go or kind of moved on. But with you, over time, this shifted from physical attraction to a really deep spiritual attraction that causes this masculine with all tied up to feel absolutely hung up on you i wanted to say like almost obsessive obsessively thinking and feeling about you and this is very unusual for him and because of this it's very uncomfortable it's requiring him with the thinking man reversed to let go of any semblance of logic he has because this connection he feels to you is completely illogical it doesn't really make any sense to him through his conscious mind and because of this this actually may even be causing him to explore spiritual concepts and ideas that he's never really looked into in the past trying to build his sense of 
confidence around you around this situation with solar plexus upright so that he can come forward in a more powerful or meaningful way, but feeling so many anxieties associated with this. And what I'm getting is if you are a divine feminine listening and you are connecting with some of these messages, this is your intuition intuitively acknowledging the energy that this masculine has actually been sending you because now what I want to get into is how you divine feminine have been feeling because again I said it felt like two people who were both afraid of losing each other and I have to tell you that a large percentage divine feminine of what you are feeling if you've been feeling fears anxieties about this connection coming up I'm hearing a feminine say I just don't know if, when, or how this is going to move forward. Know that some of these anxieties you are feeling may actually be coming from this masculine, as strange as it sounds, because there is this very strong energetic bond between the two of you that has been activated. And because of this bond, there is a very effortless transfer of energy between you so when this masculine is having these very heavy, dark, worrisome thoughts about your connection, you are actually able to pick up on those thoughts. Happy family reverse. Yeah, there are two people here who are both afraid or unsure how they're going to reconnect. You might be physically separate or geographically in different places. Yeah, and this masculine specifically is very concerned with happy family reversed and financial constraints reversed, concerned that he isn't going to be able to break free from whatever circumstances he is now awakening to in his life through this spiritual awakening you triggered within him. And again, he's feeling very stuck within these circumstances and also with happy family reversed, concerned about how the two of you are going to bridge some kind of disconnect, whether it's distance, whether it's again, these circumstances between you. So in the extended version of the reading, I will be channeling more into exactly what this masculine wants to say to you, divine feminine, what specifically might be on his heart to tell you at this time that he might be thinking and sending you in the form of energy, but not necessarily vocalizing so that more detailed information and those extended messages from this masculine will be in the extended reading on Patreon, which is in the pinned comments and description box under this video. Okay, so now I want to read into your energy, Divine Feminine, and right away I'm getting that... For some divine feminines, you might actually be more unconscious about these fears and anxieties, meaning that you may have been feeling a little bit of anxious or off-kilter energy recently. This could have been at any time within the last week. I'm hearing unstable, imbalanced, and you may have been really confused about why you were feeling this way or where it was coming from not necessarily realizing that it was actually this masculine sending you a great deal of this kind of anxious energy. But I do see that along with this generalized energy of anxiety, you divine feminine may have also had moments of finding yourself a bit fearful or worried about specifically karmic situations that this masculine may still be caught up in. And this won't be for everyone, but for some, you may have found yourself feeling a bit concerned over whether or not this masculine is engaging with karmic feminines in his life. He might still be in a karmic relationship that you're aware of, or you might just be wondering if, again, he's engaging with this kind of karmic interference energy. And with the garden and the gate upright, I hear your guide saying that there is a strong need to, I'm hearing to trust yourself and to protect yourself. So what does this divine feminine need to know about trusting herself and protecting herself? So I'm getting that, first of all, with rest and rejuvenation reversed, sitting on the throat chakra, I'm 
getting that you divine feminine may have been really activating your throat chakra energy in recent months or years through some creative endeavor through a business through your work there's been this very intense throat chakra activation that has taken place within you that is really pushing you to expand when it comes to expressing more of your true self to the world through whatever creative mediums or avenues you may choose to do this kind of expression. But what I'm getting is that your physical vessel, your physical being is calling you to greater rest at this time, to nourishment, to... I'm hearing... With the thinking man reversed, getting out of your head by focusing on what your physical body needs. So that might resonate with someone. Also, I'm seeing something about clear courts that may be connecting with someone listening. But in general, this can speak to the need to really clear your energy. I'm seeing someone saging their space. So this might be part of your energy clearing ritual as well. And I see that through caring for your physical body in these ways, especially as your throat chakra has been so greatly activated. And I see this having taken a lot of even physical energy to undergo this activation. But as you do this energy clearing, I see with the goddess of the moon upright, I just keep hearing like you reaching that next level of your spiritual self empowerment. I'm also getting to shift your focus and attention away from any anxieties or fears that have come up around potential karmic situations going on with this masculine you are connected to, which of course, this is far easier said than done because you are feeling such an intense spiritual and energetic interconnectedness with this person, with this masculine, that you pick up on all of these slightest shifts going on within him and it can cause you to feel secondhand a lot of what he is feeling or experiencing or going through which at the bottom of the deck anxiety a lot of what this masculine is feeling experiencing and going through is anxiety is that very intense ego death which in many cases i'm getting you divine feminine may have already been through that kind of rock bottom moment that ego death experience but now there might be a part of you almost feeling like you are re-experiencing it at times and know that nothing is going wrong here again you are just largely picking up on what this masculine is experiencing that you are very connected to in some way with the sun card and walking away upright i'm hearing your guides say go towards your power, go towards your new beginning and walk away from anything in the physical world that is causing you to feel drained, to feel underappreciated, to feel unsupported or unloved, regardless of what that is in the physical, regardless of whether it's a person that you are very much spiritually connected to, whether it's a job position, a co-working environment, a location physically, I feel that reaching this next level in your spiritual expansion is about having the courage to cut ties with things in the physical that are no longer serving you. And there's something very confusing going on with this connection to this masculine because I feel that for some of you listening, there may be certain aspects of your physical 3D connection to this masculine, your interactions together that could actually not be serving you in the physical. However, at the same time, there is this very intense, highly spiritual bond between you as well. So it's like you have two different relationships going on with this person. You have the highly spiritual soul bond through which there is this constant, perpetual, energetic transference, energetic interaction, but then layered on top of that, you have this physical 3D relationship that sometimes is not serving you in the physical world. 
And so in the extended version of the reading, I do want to get more in depth into channeling what your spiritual soul relationship with this person looks like versus what your physical 3D relationship with them might look like. So the link to those extended messages is in the pinned comment and description box under this video. But for now, I want to say that someone here with fourth chakra reversed may have their heart a bit closed off because with broken heart reversed, they are still in the process I'm hearing of picking up the pieces of healing from some past situation of pain or heartbreak, either romantically or unromantically this could be a family situation an inner child wound but some situation of brokenheartedness has really affected the heart chakra of at least one person involved here which has caused them to close off their hearts a bit i'm hearing under construction it's like it's kind of like putting up signs that a certain location is under construction and it's not permanent. It's a temporary state of being required for something to be built. And I feel that someone's heart chakra here is that same way. It is under construction, so to speak. It might seem or feel to be blocked off, but really it's just being temporarily guarded or protected for the purpose of being healed and rebuilt. So again, I will be channeling more information on that in the extended Patreon reading linked under this video. But for now, I do want to pull some messages from the spirit guides surrounding this situation, potentially from the higher self of either party involved here. Okay, so what do the spirit guides or the higher self surrounding this situation want to say? perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out, common ground. So first of all, I'm getting that you and this person may be caught in a certain momentary energetic experience of amplified fear, amplified anxiety or uncertainty, but I do see that this will pass. There's also something about this card speaking to the eternity of the soul. I'm hearing timeless bond, the bond that you have with this person, you need to know because I feel part of the fears coming up for someone, and this could be the masculine or the feminine, but part of the fears coming up is I feel so connected to this person, but if I let go of certain 3D aspects of our connection, will we still be connected or will we drift apart? And I'm hearing this is almost like a test. It's like, are you willing to love yourself enough to let go of the 3D aspects of this connection, whether it's an emotional pattern, a behavior pattern, whether it's some kind of way in which you connect with this person in the physical? Do you love yourself enough to release those 3D aspects of this connection that may not be serving you at this time? in order to allow yourself to align more with the soul aspect, the spiritual 5D aspect of the connection, to allow that to flourish and to strengthen. Because I feel that there are a lot of fears coming up regarding whether or not that bond will still be there in the 5D, will still be there spiritually speaking, if you are to release certain aspects of how you are 3D connecting with this person. And the resounding answer I'm getting here is yes, the bond you have with this person is not going anywhere. It is deep. It is eternal. It is not dependent on how close in proximity you are in the physical world, how much you communicate physically because that communication is actually taking place predominantly at a deeper level energetically and spiritually with the patience card door to personal healing and happiness upright and adjacent possibilities upright what i see here is everything is happening in divine timing in perfect timing between the two of you however at times this healing and growth process although you trigger this awakening within each other at times it might feel as though you are healing or growing individually 
And in those segments of time where the growth feels more individual, your physical human self might worry with happy family reversed. How is this going to come together? How are we going to reconnect? But with adjacent possibilities upright, I'm hearing that your soul knows the way. Your soul knows the way through the storms, through the conflict, through the confusion. It knows that the two of you are deeply and profoundly interconnected. And your guides at this time and your higher self are calling you, especially you, Divine Feminine, to stand strong with Angel of Strength upright, to stand in your power, in your confidence, in your independence. And magician in the mirror reverse this is one of my two twin flame cards to trust that everything is coming into balance as you focus on the energy of the situation shifting the energy between yourself and this person by actually balancing the masculine and feminine within yourself which happens often for the divine feminine through really really balancing her divine feminine essence with the awakening and the healing of her inner divine masculine which shows up to support her to give her the love the care the nourishment that she needs in order to express that beautiful divine feminine essence and again that is something that we can find within ourselves and once we balance that energetically from within and keep the focus on the energy I see that with contract upright, we break through any karmic contracts, any karmic cycles or energies we are holding within ourselves that then I see almost like this reflection of some of these karmic patterns and cycles between yourself and this person. And of course, as I said, reflection, the yin yang card, the twin flame card came out in the upright position. So I'm getting that as you divine feminine or masculine, whoever is listening, as you heal these karmic cycles and clear these energies within yourself focusing on the energy of the situation your i wanted to say your twin but of course only you can know for sure whether this is a twin flame but the person you are connected with here will reflect that healing will reflect that growth i'm hearing as you free yourself they will free themselves as well if this is a twin flame bond, especially because twin flames do mirror one another's healing, growth, expansion. And in fact, I'm getting that if you've wondered whether you're on a twin flame path, but you've really not been sure, is this person actually my twin flame? The way you discover that answer is by putting it to the test by focusing within yourself focusing away from the physical aspects of the person and your 3d connection and focusing on balancing those divine masculine and divine feminine energies within yourself clearing any remnant karmic cycles or patterns within because as you do that inner energetic work your true twin flame will always perfectly mirror over the course of time that same healing growth expansion at the energetic level and two cards came out here from the Rumi oracle by the way in the extended reading i will be channeling more into any potential karmic contracts cycles patterns that you and this person may be storing energetically within yourselves that may need to be looked at or addressed potentially in order for this connection to move forward in the physical. So the link to the extended reading with those additional messages is in the pinned comments and description box under the video. And the two Rumi Oracle cards to come out here are the right choice and the impossible made possible. So I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit from the guidebook here. Love brings the sea into boiling and turns the mountain into a pebble. Love creates infinite openings in the dark sky and shudders the earth with its magnitude. Rumi. And the guidebook also says, You are being guided by this loving power to drop the doubt, shed the incredulity, and open up the mind. Allow your imagination to be inspired 
as though you were a child in a great garden, hearing the breath of the earth in the wind-whipped leaves and the voices of the ancestors in bird song. The universe wants something to happen for you, something beautiful, something utterly improbable, and something perfect for your path, your own unique divine destiny. Your mind will wonder if it is even possible. People around you may wonder the same thing, but your heart will burn for it to become real, to become more than a fantastic, improbable dream. When your heart is much more powerful than your mind, you won't unintentionally block the incredible grace of manifestation, seeking to pour into your thirsty soul like the sweetest, purest waters of blessing. And the other card here is the right choice. So I'm going to read from that as well. On the path of love, there is not so much wrong and right in the moral sense, so much as what is wrong or right for you. The mind cannot help so much here. Only the heart can speak such truths. So can you give up what you have planned, believed, or decided? Let the heart wisdom that silently broadcasts its pure and true intentions into the fertile womb of the universe, lead the way instead. It will lead you along the right path. So wow, really beautiful messages at the end of this reading about having the courage to surrender the knowing of the mind to the higher level knowing of the hearts and... In the extended version of the reading, we will be diving deeper into many points that came up in this reading and to see everything that will be included in the extended reading. All of that is listed out under this video in the pinned comment and description box. Otherwise, I just want to say thank you to all of you who are here tuning in for this reading. I do channel these readings on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I hope to hear to connect with you here again on Wednesday at 12 p.m. as well. Otherwise, I would love to hear from you in the comments if anything from this reading connected with you personally. I am on Instagram as well. You can follow me at Magnetize Yourself. I hope you have a beautiful, magical rest of your day, and I will talk to you again in Wednesday's reading.